let's talk about the difference between a software developer and a software engineer. In order to do that, we first need to look at a role that's further down the ladder, if you like, and that is the role of a programmer. Now, what does a programmer do? Well, I'm sure you know by now, a programmer programs. He's the guy that translates what we want as the users into whatever the computer can or cannot do with that input. He's the guy that allows us to talk to the computer. Now, if a programmer works in a job, you might say to him, make me a networking library in order to get HTML pages in C Sharp. So you'd give him that task and off he'd go. He'd go and do it bit by bit. He'd report back as he was making it. We'd test it and we'd make sure all the bugs were worked out of it. So in a way, the programmer does have some kind of autonomy over what he's doing, but it's very narrow because we've said to him, just networking. And in reality, it might be a bit less than that. You might say, just retrieving a file from X place reliably. Okay, and he might have to talk to other programmers, but that's by the by. So now we know what a programmer does. Basically, he has no real, or, or he does have responsibility, but it's not a huge amount of responsibility. He just has to do the one thing he's tasked to do. And that's what you're going to start doing when you start learning to program, is you are a programmer. You're not a developer yet. The good news is development is not far away. Let's say you're a programmer and you decide to go out on your own. And Mr. Joe Bloggs comes to you and he says, I want some software, please. And you say, well, I'm a programmer. I can make software. Well, <laughs> not so fast. You're a programmer. You're not yet a developer, but you're about to be and you're about to learn how to be. Because when someone asks for software, it's not just going to be a simple piece of software. You're going to have to do all the networking yourself. You're going to have to do maybe the server. You're going to have to do maybe the front end, whatever it is, if it's some kind of website with Angular or something like that. And you're going to have to do all of these things or not. But you're going to have to understand a lot more than simple programming. You're going to have to understand the structure of what you're doing. And that's an important distinction between a programmer and a software developer. A software developer understands the structure of what he's making. Okay, so now we can get on to what a software engineer is. And a software engineer is simply a, how I like to describe it, a glorified software developer. So you'd say to a software engineer, hey, dude, I want some software. And then he would go off and say, right, we're going to have a server. We're going to have a website. We're going to have some apps. Okay, and all of these things use different technology. Sometimes you can do cross-platform, but we'll get onto that in a future broadcast. And the software engineer is going to go to developers and he's going to say to them, build me a server, build me an app, build me a website. The software engineer is the guy that's making sure that all of these things can talk to each other. And so in reality, the server is actually talking to the apps and is talking to the website. So we have to make everything play nicely together. Because the software engineer is making everything talk to each other, he actually gets compensated a fair bit more than a software developer because he's ultimately responsible for everything talking to everything else and making the product actually work. So in reality, the difference between an engineer and a developer is kind of blurred, but there's one surefire way to know which one you are if you're not sure. If you are just doing programming tasks, you're obviously a programmer. If you're doing programming plus software design of some sort, even if it's very little, you are a software developer. If, and here's the irony, you're not doing very much programming, and you're outsourcing all of your tasks to software developers, then you're probably 
a software engineer. That's not to say a software engineer never programs. He does, actually, and it depends highly on the role that he's in. Okay, and as you might expect, the compensation in terms of salaries is different between these. So a programmer will get less than a software developer, and he'll get less than a software engineer, but only marginally for those last two, really. Where the secret comes in is if you can get yourself known as a software engineer, then you're going to be highly prized. And if you get the correct role in the correct job or startup company, you can graduate from software engineer to a chief technology officer. And obviously, the pay for that is totally unlimited. It just depends on how good the software is that you make. Right, so in summary, the difference between a software developer and a software engineer is an engineer leans more towards the architecture side, the crafting of the final product, bringing all these systems together, whereas a developer concentrates more on individual tasks inside of that development. Do you want to win prizes with your newfound knowledge? If yes, then simply head over to iamdev.net forward slash episode two and take the free two minute test based on this episode. If you pass, then you'll earn dev points, which can be redeemed for real products on our website. So to claim your points now, go to iamdev.net forward slash episode two.